A certain man had two sons. He came to the first and said, Son, go work today in my vineyard. Take a look, my friend. <laughs> Someday it'll all be mine. Don't forget your brother. What does Micah have to do with it? I'm the oldest. The oldest gets everything. Not if he isn't worthy. Are you saying I'm not worthy? I'm only saying... It'll all be mine someday. <laughs> you watch. Today we harvest. Wake, my sons. The fruit is ready to be picked. Well, they're already up and gone. What? If we don't pick it today, the whole harvest is lost. And I'm too weak to do it myself. You start. I'll find the boys. Y yes, Josh. <laughs> Sell a few of these and I'll be my own master. No more planting, picking, and weeding for me. Until that time comes, I need your hands at home. It's harvest day. Oh, Father. Come, before it's too late. But I... Enough, Micah. Come. I'm staying here. Say that again? I'm sick and tired of the vineyard. It's all I ever do. And what does Joachim do but play all day long and brag about the time when it'll all be his? Well, he can have it. I'm finished. Don't you have anything better to do than watch me work? <laughs> Not that I can recall. Well then, here comes your father to jog your memory. Joachim, it is harvest day. I I'm sorry, Father. So you always say. And yet I'm always hunting for you when there's work to be done. Oh, I'll come right away, Father. I promise. See that you do, or we'll lose the harvest. You're not going? Father gets excited sometimes, but the job always gets done whether I go or not. Relax. We won't even finish half of it at this rate. It's a horrible loss. Yes, so much fruit. Not the fruit. The respect of my sons. Father? I'm sorry, Father. It was wrong how I talked to you. I'm here to work if you'll forgive me. All is forgiven and forgotten. Looks like I came back just in time. I have something to tell you, Micah. I don't think I'll live much longer. I want you to inherit this vineyard. I don't want to take anything from Joachim, Father. You haven't. Joachim expected it to be his just because he was the oldest. But you have always been here, whether you liked it or not. My vineyard is yours. No! no! Ah. 
we've been assigned to keep our eye on a troublemaker. His followers claim he's the Messiah. Can you believe that? A carpenter from Galilee? The Messiah? You can't use foreign money here. Go to the money changers. One shekel for five of your coins. That is not fair. Take it or leave it. This house is a house of prayer, but you have turned it into a den of thieves. His name was Jesus just healed a crippled child. Receive your sight. I can see. He's the Messiah. How dare you upset the temple? You'll pay for this. Have you lost your mind? Are you possessed by devils? Well, speak. What do you have to say? Destroy this temple, and in three days, I will raise it up. What's that supposed to mean? It took 46 years to build Herod's temple, and you think you can raise it up in three days? I said nothing of Herod's temple. Leaving in the morning. I'm coming with you. Nicodemus! We came as fast as we could. You made it just in time. Here he comes! Disciples, Jesus. This is an outrage. If I commanded these people to hold their peace, these very stones would cry out. of Nazareth. On behalf of the Sanhedrin, I ask you, who gave you the authority to do these things? I will gladly answer your question, if you will answer mine. The baptism of John, was it from heaven or of men? If we say it came from men, these people will rise up against us. Well, then we'll say it came from heaven. Then he'll ask why we didn't believe John and why we stood by when he was killed. We... we cannot tell where the authority came from. Then neither can I tell you by what authority I do these things. But listen to this parable. 
A certain man built a beautiful vineyard with hedges round about it and a tower. But the time came for him to travel to a distant country. So he gave responsibility for the vineyard to others called husbandmen. And when harvest time came, he sent a servant to collect the fruit of the vineyard. But the husbandmen had come to see the vineyard as their own. So they beat the servant and sent him back. So the Lord of the vineyard sent a second servant, but he too was beaten. A third was sent, and he was wounded. So the Lord of the vineyard decided to send his son, for he said to himself, this is my son. Surely they will show him reverence and respect. But when the son came to the vineyard, the husbandmen said to themselves, this is the son and the heir to the Lord's vineyard. Let us kill him and take control of the vineyard ourselves. So they took the son and killed him. Jesus will die. Is that what he's saying? He will die? How could you be so calm? We thought he was the Messiah, the Savior. He is, but not in the way we thought. There is no other way, Nicodemus. The Messiah is to come and save us. Yes, but from what, Cleopas? From what? What else is there in Israel but Romans? Three years ago, the first time I saw Jesus, he told me God loved the world so much, he gave his only begotten son. Gave him, Cleopas. And if we'll believe in him, then we'll be saved. Saved from the fear of death. Saved from the burden of guilt and sin. Saved from a heart full of hate. But to do that, he must be, as he said, lifted up, just as Moses lifted the serpent. Crucified? What good is a crucified Messiah? A Messiah who lies dead in the tomb? No. The real Messiah will not allow himself to be killed. What happened? They just arrested Jesus. They're taking him to be judged. He may be your Messiah, but he's not mine. Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. I've never sold so many spices. I'm burying a friend today. I need them to prepare his body. But you've got enough to bury a king. He was a king. The king of heaven and earth. him just like they took any man. They crucified him just as easily, too. I keep hoping his death was a dream. But it wasn't a dream. He fooled us all. I so hoped he was the Messiah. And yet, there was something in his manner, in his smile. I can't imagine a greater man than him. Neither can I.
Why are you sad? A man named Jesus, who was a prophet, has been put to death. And we thought he was the Messiah, come to deliver us from Rome. Didn't Jesus have to suffer these things and then enter into his glory? Come, let me tell you what the scriptures have said concerning this Jesus. Isaiah wrote, He was wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities, a man's sorrows, well acquainted with grief. So you see, friends, the scriptures plainly teach that the Messiah would suffer and die. I can't deny what you say. You teach with such power. And yet? How? How can the Messiah save us? How can he redeem us if, if he's dead? He is not dead. We saw him crucified. Let us partake. Oh, Master. How many days ago was he crucified? Three. Destroy this temple, and in three days I shall raise it up. He was talking about himself. He's... he's risen from the dead. He died for us, Timothy. All he suffered, all his pain, it was for us. He lives. <laughs> 